Hi Money Makers, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be painting pencils and I know it sounds really lame, but I really hope it's not gonna be. And we're also gonna be making like a little pencil holder for them to go in. So I'm really looking forward to this video, a bit of like stationery and a bit more craftiness rather than just like big, big projects, just a small little thing. And I'm hopefully gonna enjoy this. I hope you guys do too. If you want to do this at home, which I definitely I definitely recommend you could and should, you're gonna need like a bit of tin foil, just something to mix, like even if it's just a piece of paper, something to mix your paints on. And then you're going to actually need the paints. You can paint whatever with your pencils with whatever colour you want, depending on how many colours you have. So I have so many of these pencils from when I did like a test and you had to have like plain pencils. So I have a bunch of these plain orange pencils. So I have picked out seven of them and seven paints and I'm going to do them rainbow. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then darker blue and purple and then white um to make them lighter because i hope hoping to do them like pastel and you also need a paintbrush and if any of you are wondering once you paint the pencils they do sharpen properly it's totally fine i've seen people do this so many times before and i really wanted to do it and i was thinking about this and then i saw a video and someone sharpened them and they sharpen perfectly fine like the paint doesn't just come off it just sharpens like a normal pencil so here's all my equipment and as you can see I'm doing this video in a bit of a different format mainly because I'm trying to be a bit more independent with my videos so I can do them on my on my own if I need to. That's why um, I'm doing it like with selfie camera because it's just a bit difficult to do it the other way around. So this is all the stuff we're going to need and I think we should get started. And usually I wouldn't like to mix paints because once you mix a paint you have to keep it that way. So like, it's just very difficult. Oh, I need to shake this. This is um, once you mix a paint, you have to keep it that color, so it can't change color, and it's very hard to get the same ratio of color A to color B or whatever, and it just makes it very difficult. So that's why I don't normally mix paints, but today I am. So I'm just gonna mix this red up and start painting. So I've never done this before, so as you can probably tell, I have literally no idea how much paint to use. I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. I have an awful feeling it's not going to be, but I guess we're just gonna have to wing it. And then if it doesn't go well, I can make more and then have to go over. Let's just get started then. Oh, this color's actually really nice. I'm not usually a fan of pastels. I don't know why I decided to do a pastel, but I feel like I'm gonna, I I was at the beginning I was wondering whether I was gonna regret it hopefully I don't and I'm really hoping I don't but I feel like I'm not I have a really good feeling about this <laughs> this and it's actually meant for paint brushes so if you're painting with multiple colors you put the paintbrush on here and then you just like you put that there when you're not using it and I'm holding this really awkwardly at the moment because I have to hold it at the very end so that's why it's poking up I'm not showing it off I'm just holding it and I'm hoping this pencil will fit um really hoping uh, I feel I have a bad feeling it won't but I guess we'll just see where we go and if it doesn't work I'll have to figure something out It fits! Fits perfectly. So that is really good. Now that means I can do the next one in peace. So next is orange. And from last time, I learnt that you don't really need that much paint. And I'm just trying to keep like a steady amount of white going. I don't know how... The thing is, if you put too much in, you can't go back. It's like too much is too much. You can't take away from it, but you can add to it. And it's, it's 
it's very hard to get the right kind of ratio. <laughs> genuinely surprised at how easily this paint goes on for some reason I thought it was gonna keep coming off I don't know why I just thought that <laughs> Also use a flat paintbrush. So don't use ones that are like circular. Don't use ones like this. Use ones like this. And I know it's got paint on it, but it's flat at the top. And as you can see, this one is, it's not. And I feel like this, is, this makes life so much easier. You can just paint messily. It just makes it so much more easy. So, so green is one I'm really looking forward to, mainly because green is one of my favourite colours, along with blue. But I feel like I kind of know what pastel blue is, but you never really see pastel green. Well, I don't remember seeing it that often, anyway. And this is a new paint as well. I think I'm the first person using this. Maybe second. But it's, oh, mm, I love it. I love new paints for some reason. It comes out exactly the same, but for some reason... It's just very more, it's just like a million times more satisfying. I don't know why. It just is. <laughs> Shake, must shake. <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> Why can't I get it out? There's like loads in here. <sighs> I can't get it out, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, help. I'm gonna shake it again. You can hear it. There's clearly stuff in there. Oh, come on, come to me. <laughs> Why is it not coming? Please help. Should I take the lid off or is that a really bad idea? I feel like that's a bad idea and I feel like I'm gonna do it anyway. And I have paint on my head. Um, is not good um that is not good at well that didn't end well um yeah um it kind of may or may not have exploded at least i got the paint out also a very dark purple but I'm being careful not to make not necessarily
was it wasn't necessarily a mistake I made last time, but I think I made the dark blue a bit too light. Because I was complaining it was too dark and then I made it too light. Oh my gosh, no, it's moving. I swear this paint has a mind of its own. One's exploding now, two decided to just run across the tin foil. It's very annoying. So I found a sharpener and I'm just going to prove to you guys this does sharpen. So here's the pencil now. It doesn't have a lead because I broke it. Um, so I'm just going to show you that it does sharpen. So there you go. And... It's literally nothing's changed with the pencil. Okay, so the next part of this video is making the pot. So I have a coffee can here. I was originally going to do it with a glass jar, but I decided against that just because I thought it would be a bit hard for the glue to stick. But as a little test, so I have these pom-poms from when I was quite little. I used to have like a little jar. I used to put like a pom-pom -pom in there when I did something good. Um, but I'm using those because they're super pretty pom-poms. And I'm going to cover this coffee can in them. And to make sure that I have enough, it's just something new. I kind of just had an idea and I was like, is this going to work? Probably not, but I'm going to try anyway. So I poured the pom-poms in here. And I thought if the pom-poms can like cover the surface area of the inside of the pot, and there's also the middle, and then there's also the pom-poms in the middle, then it can probably almost definitely cover the outside. And I have spare just in case. So hopefully there's going to be enough. Um, fingers crossed and I have the pencils that are going to go in there just here so if you want to make this at home all you're going to need is a hot glue gun pom poms and a coffee can or a glass jar really anything that you can make a pencil pot out of and just so you know how to do this I would recommend that instead of putting the glue like that on the pom pom i'd recommend that you do that on the cut on the glass or can that you're using and stick the pom pom on instead of using like doing it straight onto the pom pom so now it's time to get started <laughs> kind of shows in camera but I'm I don't have a lot left like at all um, and it's kind of worrying to be honest so I'm just gonna put the rest of these in here and kind of hope for the best I know one or two is gonna go wrong at some point but it's so annoying when that does happen so yeah wish me luck okay so just a little update for you guys this is where we're at it looks so cute i i love it but we've run out of pom-poms so my method i thought it was gonna work and i thought i was being super smart but it didn't work so now i feel stupid and very silly so um i don't know what to do because that's it of these like i got these are these are really old pom-poms and we don't really buy pom-poms anymore I just kind of like stopped those kind of rainy day activities and there's no way they sell these anymore or if they do they're not quite the same so I don't know what to do I don't know whether to just like start another because I do have some more pom-poms but they're just like solid color or glittery I feel like I don't think that's a good idea so I think I'm just gonna do like a, some painting at the bottom and it's a real shame because I thought I was being smart and I thought it was a good method, but clearly not. Oh well, I guess 
you know, one of, at some point something like this was going to go wrong. It's a shame, but it happens. I also don't know what happened to the hot glue gun, but it was so hot it was steaming. And I asked my dad if I was supposed to happen, and he said that has never ever happened. Like, he's never seen that happen. And I don't think that was a good thing either. But, you know, I don't think that affected the amount of pom-poms it used. And it was so stringy as well. Like, I think it's because I had to put the nozzle in. Like, it literally has a bit of string coming off it now. Um, but I think it's because when I put it on the can, like, um, I put the nozzle back in the glue to, like, get it, like, smooth it around, kind of. And I think it kind of just got stuck and just came away with it. Very annoying, but I don't know what happened here, but I guess we can still make something good out of it. I'm going to try it anyway. And we were just going to leave it and, like, end the video and just kind of hold it like that and be like, yeah, I just finished it. But, um, you know, I don't want to lie. So this isn't going well. All the wrong has gone. So... I'm going to use nail polish and I've tried a bit on the bottom and it seemed to work not quite dry yet but I'm just kind of hoping it was either going to be that or like metallic washi tape and it doesn't really match or stickers we were just going to like cover it in stickers but I decided against that so nail polish is even it's probably gonna stink the place out so the first coat's on and it doesn't look amazing but i guess it's just gonna have to do and i don't usually like saying that but in this case it really is you know needed it's a bit patchy but that's why we're going over it and you can see like the barcode and stuff through it but i guess got stuff what we got so i know this video wasn't a total success but it's done now and it looks good it looks a bit weird but i guess we can just kind of style it out and i had loads of fun making it even if it didn't go totally to plan oh well it doesn't really matter not the end of the world um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget i upload new videos once every two weeks and don't forget to, s and if you have Instagram, and if you don't, then you can get it if you want to. Um, and don't forget to follow Rosemary Makes on Instagram, link in the description down below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you next time, Mini Makers. Bye!